Paris. Now, let's return to that summit we've been watching between uh, Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump in Helsinki. Uh, we were listening to that news conference through the last uh, hour or so. Uh, let's head to New York and talk to Michael Bosacu, who's a global affairs analyst and a former spokesman for the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. And from Moscow, Andrei Baklitsky, an expert on U.S.-Russia relations and uh, non-proliferation of nuclear weapons from the think tank PR Center. Thanks both of you for being with me. Uh, Michael, to you first of all, uh, you were watching that news conference. What did you make of what you saw? Well, I was absolutely gobsmacked. I had to pinch myself at times thinking, are we back in the Cold War with Putin saying things like, you know, we need to create an expert council, we need to talk about humanity and culture, those sorts of things. And uh, I, I thought also that the optics were very interesting, not only at the press conference, but earlier in the day when they had the photo op. Uh, to me, it was, I was struck by how Trump looked next to Putin, um, like the naughty uh, schoolboy being called in by the headmaster to get a good scolding. But, you know, uh, what I really think uh, here, being here in New York is uh, President Trump will be coming back to a very, very angry Congress, hopefully, and to also Democrats and, and possibly even part of his base, because to blame the Americans uh, for the bad state of uh, U.S.-Russia relations and to say that I don't see any reason to blame Russia um, for the election uh, collusion or interfering in elections is, again, absolutely extraordinary. I'll come back to that point uh, in a moment. Thing, let, me bring, yeah, sure. uh, let me bring Andrei in, because uh, to get his uh, analysis, uh, what did you think uh, as you watched? Because uh, uh, earlier in the day, I, I was reading comments, I think by uh, yourself, that uh, even the fact that this summit uh, uh, was taking place uh, for Vladimir Putin, that is success. Uh, I would say it's a success for, for the both sides who are trying to organize the summit. And uh, we see the actually one thing is just striking is the lack of deliverables. Basically, two things which were agreed is maybe Russian US uh, high level working group on business and maybe expert council of scientists and diplomats. And this is a representation of a very difficult state of US-Russian relations and uh, presidents uh, exchange disagreements on Crimea to energy to Iran, you name it. So uh, despite the fact that both leaders want to improve ties and you can see it both from Trump and from Putin, there were no breakthroughs and that's, that tells you something. Michael, briefly, because we haven't got a huge amount of time, he was asked a double question about uh, meddling. He said, uh, did he agree with uh, US intelligence that the Russians were behind it? Would he tell Putin not to do it again? He ducked both, didn't he? And actually went further. He, he said he didn't see any reason why Russia would be behind it. He did duck it. And, um, you know, what he needed to say is that we have the evidence, uh, you know, that uh, the U.S. The, sorry, the Russia is uh, responsible for violating U.S. sovereignty by interfering in the elections and don't do it again. Otherwise, there will be severe consequences. And then, of course, the other uh, deliverable that was missing was Crimea in eastern Ukraine. Um, my former colleague was just on and said uh, the explosions have uh, decreased. But in fact, there are a lot of uh, explosions, explosions coming from the Russian backside. And for uh, Putin to say that the U.S. has to be stronger on Kiev to uh, get, you know, the Ukrainians to under or, or under the Minsk agreements is absolutely astounding. Quick final word for, for Andrei. 30 seconds, if you could. Can relations be reset, do you think, between these two? There's obviously going to be no reset, not nothing similar to what Obama did. Uh, National Security Council will follow, will going to follow up on this. But frankly speaking, with Ambassador Bolton in charge, I don't think there'll be a lot of improvements there. Well, Andrei Baklitsky and uh, Michael Bescu, uh, thanks very much, both of you. Sorry it was so brief, but thanks for being here on the programme.